With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is given a particle is moving in a uniform circular motion on a horizontal surface. Particle positions and velocity at time t equal to zero are shown in figure. In the coordinate system, which of the indicated variable on the vertical axis is are correctly matched by graph by the graph shown alongside of particle alongside for particle motion? So here, this is a uniform circular motion, and this graph is given. Now we have to check which one is the right, which is the right. So here, firstly, we see this first graph. So here, this is a y component of force keeping particle moving in a. So here, in that case, at this point, the velocity is a maximum when it move. So here, at reach this point, so means in that case, the velocity no velocity. So that means v sign zero. So here, we can write for first. V minus u is equal to 80 and acceleration in y direction. So V is 0, u is V and 80 and acceleration will come V upon T. So here acceleration we get negative means initially it goes initially it goes upward. So we get a negative acceleration of we check the graph. So here graph we get here negative. So that means this is the right. Now we check this second graph x component of velocity. So here we can see that this is a, at this point, this is the initial velocity. Now here it a time uh, with initially time starts. So x component here, this velocity will come here. So means we take this coordinate axis like this. So here this resolve, this resolve in this side. So here we take this angle is theta and here this is a v cos theta and this is a v sin theta take this is a v1 means that here initially time starts so x component will get velocity will get here negative direction so here we see this graph so here we get in a positive direction so that means this is not a right and third one is the angular velocity of the particle so in that case angular velocity is always constant in a uniform circular motion so that means this is a constant so here this is the right this is the, now here last is the x coordinate of the particle so here we can check x coordinate of the particle so initially at this point x coordinate is the uh, maximum then it goes like here and will come zero then it goes negative means uh, we get a positive to zero and a positive to zero then negative to maximum so here we see this graph so here it is uh, get a positive then zero and then negative then maximum so that means this is also right this is this is a solution of this question guys thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today